Good morning. Good morning. Now today is a lovely amazing day. You're going to be getting the predictions for Thursday matches. Mhm. We have the Thursday matches predictions prepared for you. So if it is your first time, ensure that you click the subscribe button, uh, turn on notifications and let us get started. In this video today you're receiving free betting tips. The first one contains 2.593 odds, 2.608 odds on the second one, and finally the third one today we are talking about 2.027 odds. Congratulations by the way in advance. Now yesterday's matches if we are to have a look at them, you realize that I posted three selections, three bet slips on YouTube yesterday. The first bet slip contained 2.25 odds. And it went ahead and won. It won amazingly well. In our second bet slip, we had three games. Unfortunately, the Inter Milan vs Bologna game ended at a draw of 0-0 full time. So we had to lose that particular bet, unfortunately. But the good thing is that our long shot that we were talking about yesterday, that is supposed to be ending this Friday, is still active. Yesterday, two of the matches played. And so far as we speak, we have five matches that are yet to play and we are looking forward to record victory. In fact, uh, the long shot is ending today. We pray for victory. We pray for success. Some of the games had been mentioned in yesterday's video, but today they are accompanied with reasoning. So before we get started, uh, once again, if it is your first time, ensure that you are subscribing, turning on notifications, and let us get started by the first bed sleep. Wow, now in our first bed sleep, we happen to be having 2.027 odds. I talked about it. Chrysler Palace playing Brighton. That is the first match that we are having a look at this morning. In this particular game, you realize the following that Chrysler Palace, that is the home team, in their last four home games, they have conceded at least two goals in four of the matches. And then another thing that is important to notice about Crystal Palace is that they have also drawn their last four home games when they were playing Brighton. That is the head-to-head -head record. And all of the games were drawn with a scoreline of 1-1. Now we look at Brighton. Brighton is the away team today. And they are coming in this particular match having lost their last two games. I mean, they've lost two of their last four away games. And uh, these games that they lost away, we had one they lost to Arsenal, the other one they lost to Chelsea. So this is going to be a hard game. But even if it is a hard game, I still foresee a scenario in which Brighton stands to have the upper hand in this particular match, and they deserve to win. So we will be betting on Brighton to be winning or a draw to Oka. The odd is 1.381. Then you have Real Betis playing Girona, a game from Spain, La Liga. In this particular game, the first thing I need you to be aware of is that Spain, I mean, Real Betis, the home team, uh, they have dominated in the head-to-head -head record. Out of the 12 matches they played recently, Real Betis has won 10 of the matches when we are talking about head-to-head. -head. However, this season, when we are looking at Real Betis, in their recent three matches, that is under Spain La Liga. Uh, they have drawn uh, they have, they have, they have drawn their last three matches, by the way, and they have only scored once in a game that ended uh, with a scoreline of 1-1. Now at home this season, Real Betis are unbeaten. They are unbeaten this season because they have won five times and then they have drawn three times. If we are to look at Girona, Girona is currently uh, performing unexpectedly. I mean... They have recorded the most unexpected results. They are currently top of the table. And they are on a hot form, winning their last three Spain La Liga matches. And coming into this game, uh, they have scored a total of nine goals in their last three La Liga matches. Away this season, they are still unbeaten. That is Girona. They are still unbeaten away. Uh, because if we are to go through their away record in the last seven matches, uh, they have scored two or more goals in six of the games. So it's incredible that we are having a perfect team like Girona are playing a real Betis side, which we are aware of that in their recent three matches, they have kind of struggled to record victory and record amazing results. So 
The betting option is going to be Girona to be winning or a draw to Oka. That is 1.468. You combine the two matches, you get 2.027 odds for our first bet slip. In our second bet slip, we have three matches, 2.2593. The first game is Cardiz playing Real Sociedad, once again a game from Spain La Liga. In this particular game, we realize that Spain, okay, Card is the home team. In their last four matches in Spain La Liga, uh, they have drawn 1-1 uh, one -one in all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, a team that is drawing at home. Now, at home, in their last four matches, if we are to look at Cardiz, this is how they have performed. Uh, they... Okay, they, I believe they lost two of the games in their last four matches at home. And the games that they, the teams they lost to, we had Real Madrid and Girona. Those are teams that are appearing in top two of the Spain La Liga. So we, we might consider that. And then they have failed to score in both of the games in which they were losing. And then if we had to look at Real Sociedad, Real Sociedad, their away team, they are unbeaten in their last four Spanish or Spain La Liga matches. And they have won two, they have drawn two. And then likewise, away, they're also unbeaten in their last two matches they have played in the Spain La Liga tournament. Now, you must realize that the two wins we are talking about uh, Real Sociedad recording when they were playing away. They recorded a win over Almeria. They also recorded a win over Villarreal. Who, which, I mean, these two teams I've just mentioned, they both appear in the lower half of the table. So that is one thing we must also consider. And given that card is the home team, they have lost against the top five, all the top five teams in Spain La Liga. And Real Sociedad is a team that sits in the top of the table. And also another thing to consider is that Real Sociedad, they have dominated in the head-to-head -head record. And this is going to be a game in which Real Sociedad has the upper hand. And given that Cadiz, I mean Real Sociedad have also failed to consider goal in their last four matches then the perfect option is Real Sociedad, Real Sociedad to be winning or a draw to occur. The odd is 1.225. We have Maloka playing Osasuna as the second game from Spain La Liga. In this particular game, we realize that Maloka, they are unbeaten in their last five matches in Spanish La Liga. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Talking about the pronunciation. Not, I know the facts. I'm talking about the pronunciation. Now, uh, we, we, we are talking about Maloka. They are unbeaten in their last five matches in Spanish La Liga, and they have won once with a scoreline of 1-0. With a scoreline of 1-0. The other two games that they went, I mean, the other four matches that they recorded and beaten, uh, we had them, two of them ending with a draw of 1-1 and 1. I mean, two ended with a draw of 1-1, and the other two ended with a draw of 0-0. Now, in this particular game, you look at this match, you realize that Osasuna, their away team, in their last five matches, they have also won once, they have lost three times, and they have drawn once. Now, given that Maloka have been able to keep a clean sheet in their last three matches coming into this particular game, I think I'm supposed to be giving them an edge because that is something to be proud of. And it is a very important factor when making an analysis. So it's going to be a tough match once again, and we bet on Maloka to be winning or a draw to Oka. The odd is 1.34. Then we have the final game from Spanish La Liga or Spain La Liga. Deportivo Alaves playing Real Madrid. In this particular game, we are going to be bold, and we are betting on Real Madrid winning. The reasons are as follows. In the recent few matches, we have witnessed that Real Madrid, they have won the last three games against Alaves. If we are to consider the head-to-head -head record, the last three matches Real Madrid has played against Alaves, and they have scored at least three goals, and all of them ended in a victory for Real Madrid. Now, in the last five games coming into this particular match, Real Madrid are also unbeaten, and they have scored two or more goals in four of the matches, and they have won in four of the matches. Alaves on the other side, they have lost their last two games coming to this particular game, and they failed to score a goal in the last two matches. So I think that this is something, a game that Real Madrid is going to be taking as an easier jackpot for them to bag. Also, the betting option is a Real Madrid to be winning. The odd is 1.615. If you combine the three matches I've just mentioned, we are getting 2.593 odds for this particular bet slip. 
And finally, in our last bet slip, we have 2.608 odds. All the games are from Turkey. Mm -hmm. All the games are from Turkey. Ensure you are subscribing, turning on notifications, liking the video. Liking the video. We have the first game being Rizek Paul playing Pendix Paul. In the last five matches, Rizek Paul. Okay, let me just start with the one. In the last five matches, Pendix Paul, that is their away team, they have won two and they have lost three. And then Rizek Paul, the home team, they are unbeaten in their last five matches, winning three times. So it means that they drew the other two. And so it means that once again that the form, Rizek Paul home form is appealing because they have only lost once in the last eight matches and they have won four times. If you were to look at Pendix Paul, you will realize that they have conceded a high number of goals, meaning that their defensive abilities uh, shows weakness. So in this game, I am betting on Risa Sport to be winning or a draw to occur. That is 1.294. Then we have Samun Sport playing Konya Sport in this particular match. It's a game in which the over market seems lucrative because my prediction revolves around goals. Let us get to listen to what I'm saying. Now, Samun Spor, um, Samun Spor have recorded a total of over 2.5 goals. Okay, if you're looking at the Samun Spor side, in their last five matches, they played across all competitions. They recorded over 2.5 goals in four of the five matches. And then Samun Spor also won their last three matches across all competitions, which means that they scored goals. Scoring three or more goals in each of the matches. Oh, it's, it's important, that one, too. If you look at Konya Sport, they are waiting in their last three matches. They have drawn one, lost one, won one. And they have scored two or more goals in two of the matches. So at the end of the day, it's evident that it's all about goals, goals, goals. Even though someone Sport has the upper hand coming to this particular match, but to be safer. The betting tip to consider is over 1.5 goal. That is 1.26. Then you have Besiktas playing Alanya Spor. In this game, we realize that Besiktas coming into this match, they have been struggling for form. Because across all competitions, in their last five matches, they have won two games. And they have lost two games. They have drawn one match. The winning, in fact, it is in their last game that is when they were able to record victory. At home this season, we are looking at Besiktas. They are unbeaten. They have only lost once. And the last, uh, when they lost once, they lost to Fenerbahce. That is the league leaders of Turkey. Now we look at Alanya Spor. They are waiting. In their last five matches across all competitions, they have been able to record five games played. And they have won two. They have drawn one. They have lost two. So it also shows that away team, that is Alanya Spor, they are in this ball performance. I mean, their performance is shaky. We can't trust on them. We can't rely. And they have only won once in their last seven matches. So to me, this is a game for Besiktas. It is a game in which Besiktas are supposed to be winning easily. And I expect them to be in a position to deliver that win by the end of first half. So we are betting on Besiktas to win either of the halves. The odd is 1.280. And finally, we have Ankara Guku playing Hataya Spore. In this particular match, the, fire, the important thing to realize is that uh, in the last five matches Ankara Guku has played, both teams to score occurred in three of the matches. Hataya Spore also recorded both teams to score in four of the last five matches across all competitions. So despite losing in four of the five matches they played away, in Turkey. That is, we are talking about uh, Hataya Spor. If you are to look at their away record, you realize that uh, recently, f uh, their last five matches, they have played away. They lost in four of the matches. Uh, one thing that is important is that they were still able to record both teams to score in three of the games in which they lost. So I think that is a, a supporting factor to give them a reason to score a goal today. Now, we bet on over 1.5 goal. That is 1.25. You combine all these four games from Turkey Super Liga, we get a summation of 2.608 odds. Now, if we are to end this video, I believe that uh, all the predictions have been mentioned. There are three betting tips, three selections. 
slip one, slip two, slip three. And I feel more confident about these particular bed slips today. We are supposed to be recording profit, victory. That is what I mean. And it also means that if you are to go ahead and analyze the game, selecting a few that you think are worthy games that have higher probability of winning, then you are going to be winning. Yesterday I saw somebody saying that my instincts, in fact, let me just see if uh, the comment is still available. My instincts show me that Napoli game, or I hate the Napoli game, so I'll just ignore it. So our friend was able to record a, a win yesterday. I believe the odds were compounding to around 3.50 if you are to remove the Napoli game because that is the only match I believe my friend removed. Uh, that is a demon. Wow. No, no, let me mention the... Okay, he was a hero gaming guy. That is the second name, hero gaming guy. Congratulations for putting in the effort to ensure that you are using the tips wisely and, uh, you know, responsibly. England Premier League predictions, March day 18. I'll be dropping you the video or I'll include the betting tips in the next video that I'll be sharing. For now, just ensure that you are subscribing, turning on notifications, sharing the video if it was valuable. And I'll quickly sum up all the games for you into one bet slip so that you guys, you my friends, enjoy it as we end this particular video. Okay? Mm-hmm. to do could somebody come and take me away i've been in the tea without you and i got it in my head night and day but we are wednesday